and if they can't, then they either wear the suntan lotion that we have produced or put on T-shirts. Okay, now the suntan lotion. This is this is good against the sun, or mm-hmm. yeah, we have uh, we have it specially made for us actually by a um, a laboratory in Texas, and it's called Safe and Natural. Okay, so you can put it on everywhere. Is what you're everywhere, saying. you bet. Okay, this is this is very interesting. Well, so uh, what, what, what do you have? How often do you have these these uh, get together? I mean, it's, it's been going on since the third, and it's going on through the weekend. Oh yeah, this is just this one week, but our beaches are open all the time. We're we're going to be going to. Um, Turtle Lake Resort in Michigan um, next week oh, for, yeah. for a gathering. I know where that's at. You know where that's <laughs> yeah, at. See, there you go. Turtle so, Lake. Yep, we'll be going there um, next week, Wednesday, and Thursday the gathering starts. We'll be there from Thursday till Sunday next week. And um, Now, do you have to, like, get, well, I'm really fascinated with this. I mean, it's, this is the first for me. I mean, you know, I feel like, you know, when I was a kid and I wanted to be in that new beach in Florida, I, mm-hmm. I feel like I finally got my, uh, <laughs> well, come on my chance to ask questions this, here. You come and join us. Okay, now, how, do you have to, like, get a permit or something to do to to uh, be there on the beach, or, or how does that work? No, uh-uh, no, there's no law against nudity on federal land. Um, oh, the feds say okay, but the, <laughs> yeah, the, but the state says land. no way. Um, actually, we have a really good rapport with our rangers. Um, in fact, <laughs> we've been... I'm sorry. How do you well, think? we we challenged them to a, to a volleyball contest several years ago. Uh-huh. And, uh, the and they losers, lost, right? Well, the losers had to take their clothes off, and they played very well, <laughs> chickens. But uh, as far as the resorts go, um, oh, you know, no special permits. They're all off the road, and um, they're closed to the general public. Although, for Nude Recreation Week, a lot of our clubs are having open houses so that the uh, clothes community can come in and see that it's not all sex and violence right, or whatever. Right, it's yeah. just normal people doing normal, everyday things. Okay. All right, this is this is very fascinating. I I think we should talk more. This well, is good. This, this is good. I like this. <laughs> good. Well, you make sure you stay on and give me your address, and I'll send you a magazine, and right. we'll we'll see if we can't get you to come over here and visit us. I I will. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty shy, but I'll, I'll give it my best. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, Mickey, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you very much, Mickey. Thank you. You'll think about it. Yeah, I even I even hate to uh, wear flip flops to show my feet. You know, <laughs> so come on. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And we're talking with Mickey Hoffman. Okay, and you're you're part of the Nude Recreation Week. And, and right. What, what? We, we are the co-sponsor for Nude Recreation Week, which was founded 20 years ago by uh, Lee Baxendall, who's also the author of The World Guide to Nude Beaches and Recreation. Ooh, how, how, how do I get that guide? Um, well, I'll just, you give me your address, and I'll send you some information on it. We're really? Just, we're getting a new one now. It'll be in our office next week, Thursday, brand new one. So I can't just come there just to the beach with fully clothed. I have to, I have to take my clothes off if I go to these beaches. No, right? they're all clothing optional. Oh, all right. our activities are clothing optional. If you don't feel comfortable, <laughs> um, which I can assure you, if you're on the beach and you have your clothes on, you won't feel comfortable. You'll want to take your clothes off. Okay. Well, you haven't seen me with my clothes off, but okay, that's okay. Doesn't make any difference. All we right. have all shapes and sizes. All right. Now, now how, how long have you been part, part of this uh, organization? I've worked here for 10 years and, and been a part of it for all of those 10 years. I okay. just... Uh, Locked into the job. <laughs> so your 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 body didn't fit the criteria, so to speak. Then is what um, you're saying. We don't have a criteria, but I just had never even thought about it or heard about it. And I was born and raised real close to to Oshkosh here, and uh, I didn't know that the Nature Society even existed. Really? So uh, I just happened upon it through some friends, and I've oh, been so, here so you didn't just like walk into a beach and I'll see all these nude people and say, no. "Hey, this is for me." No, I went on a cruise and it was nude. Oh, really? Okay, a nude cruise. A nude cruise. So this this is this is pretty widespread then, right? This is, well, it's this international. Is you know the uh, the Europeans. This is their lifestyle. So right. uh, it's part of the reason why our our tourist trade is is falling is because they're closing nude beaches and uh, Europeans don't have to come here. They can go other places. Right. So uh, it's too bad. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I saw my very first nude beach in Florida. Mm-hmm. And uh, I always wanted to be part of that, but it was, it was kind of like one of those things where they said, no, you're not supposed to do that. So what, what, what do you tell people when they say, oh, I'm just kind of, I'm not sure if I could do that? I think they ought to try it. I think they should go to a beach and uh, at least give it a try. I, I think that everybody that, that does go to a beach and does, uh, go, I mean, I, I don't know too many people who haven't skinny dipped. In fact, we, we did a Gallup poll and... Um, like 17 percent of the population has skinny dipped oh, well, at one time or another I, I'm, one, that, I'm one of those those parts so yeah well yeah. see <laughs> there's a lot of people that yeah. have have tried it and uh, um 
Well, you know, most of the bathing suits are on the beach these days on, on a lot of the women and stuff, <laughs> even the guys, there's nothing there anyway, so right. you might as well, you know. That's right. It's much more comfortable having nothing on than having some of those swimming suits yeah, on. Yeah, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. It's just, you know, people say, well, what do you do at a nude beach? It's like, well, what do you do at a Regular, closed beach? Yeah. You do the same thing. You just do it without your suit on. Okay. So that way, but uh, doesn't that get, like, I mean, playing volleyball and stuff, couldn't that be, like, harmful? <laughs> or no? Well, they wear knee pads. Okay. <laughs> the knees aren't exactly what I was talking about, but... Uh, uh, like, no, it's no different. No. Fact, volleyball is one of our biggest sports. In fact, one of our clubs on the East Coast sponsors some Class A volleyball tournaments, so we do have some pretty serious volleyball players. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they uh, actually keep, pay, pay attention to the ball and the whole bit, huh? You bet. You bet. It's, okay, so you know, I, 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 that's it's not a, that's a gawking sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I would have a hard time not doing a little gawking. I guess I'm, I'm just in the old school, I guess. Um, I, I think you'd surprise yourself. Really? Mm-hmm. So after a while, once you see everybody nude, mm-hmm. after a while, you just kind of say, eh, it's kind of natural. Yeah, in fact, I'm a people watcher, and it's real strange because I don't normally notice that they don't have clothes on. I, 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 that's hard to explain to somebody, but I really don't. Yeah. After you're there for a while and you're... You're just looking at everybody. You're just looking to see what they're doing, not what they look like while they're doing it. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay. I, <laughs> I guess I'd have to do this for a while to be able to figure out if I could actually do that kind of thing. You bet. Okay. Well, you know, I've uh, talked to uh, um, a lady, Marge Davis, a while back about about birds, and I, I'm really I'm, I'm hooked on birds. Uh-huh. So maybe I should try this and see if I get hooked on on nudity. What do you think? Well, I think you ought to. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I, my boss likes to say it's as American as apple pie. I don't know about that, but yeah. Um, it is a. It's just a nice lifestyle. It's. Uh, we have families that go to the beaches, and uh, this weekend is going to be a real big weekend for us. We'll have volleyball tournaments on our beach here, and uh, they're going to have some kids' games and some adults' games, and give out prizes and have so, a potluck dinner. So it's like a, a big fi- family thing. Then. You bet. You bet. Everybody's it, in family. the nude. Okay. In the nude. Um, now, okay, tell me where this is at and how, how they, if they need to get a hold of you, what, what can they do to, to get a hold of you to get signed up for this or whatever they have to do? Okay, well, it's at all, all nude beaches and, and nude resorts across the country are having nude recreation weekend. But if you want further information about the Nature Society or our events, they can call us here in Oshkosh. It's 414-231-9950. And if they're visiting in Oshkosh, they can stop in because we have the Skinny Dipper Shop right on Main Street. <laughs> the Skinny Dipper Shop? You betcha. Okay. Does he, you have to go, when you go into the Skinny Dipper Shop, you have to take your clothes off or what? No, we've only had one person do that, but we're right on Main Street, so they have to keep their clothes on. Oh, okay. But it, we sell all those accessories that the well-undressed naturist needs. Uh, like what? Well, they have to have a towel to sit on. That's part of our etiquette. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And we have Don't wrist sit wallets and, and fanny packs and... T-shirts for the times when they ought to be out of the sun, and uh-huh. um, sweatshirts, and you know, just different things. That oh, so actually, so clothes. <laughs> well, sure, sure, because it gets kind of chilly at night. Okay, yeah, and I can understand that. Yeah, we okay. also tell our people, you know, to stay out of the sun between the hours of ten and two. Right. Um, and if they can't, then they either wear the suntan lotion that we have produced or put on T-shirts. Okay, now the suntan lotion. This is this is good against the sun, or? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have uh, we have it specially made for us actually by a. Um, a laboratory in Texas, and it's called Safe and Natural. Okay, so you can put it on everywhere. Is what you're everywhere, saying. you bet. Okay, this is this is very interesting. Well, so uh, when, when, when do you have? How often do you have these these uh, get together? I mean, it's, it's been going on since the third, and it's going on through the weekend. Oh yeah, this is just this one week, but our beaches are open all the time. We're we're going to be going to um, Turtle Lake Resort in Michigan um, next week oh, for, yeah. for a gathering. I know where that's at. You know where that's <laughs> yeah, at. Yeah, there you at. go. So, Lake. Yep, we'll be going there um, next week, Wednesday, and Thursday the gathering starts. We'll be there from Thursday till Sunday next week. And um, now, do you have to like? Well, I'm really fascinated with this. I mean, it's, this is the first for me. I mean, you know, I feel like you know when I was a kid and I wanted to be in that new beach in Florida. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I finally got my uh, <laughs> well, come my on, chance to ask questions here. You come and join us. Okay. Now, how, do you have to like get a permit or something to do to to uh, be there on the beach, or, or how does that work? No, uh, uh-uh, no. There's no law against nudity on federal land. Um, oh, the feds say okay, but the, yeah, the, <laughs> but state, the state says no idea. way. Um, actually, we have a really good rapport with our rangers. Um, in fact, <laughs> we've been... I'm sorry. How well, we, we challenged them to a, to a volleyball contest several years ago. Uh-huh. And, uh, the and losers, they lost, right? Well, the losers had to take their clothes off, and they played very well. <laughs> Chickens. But uh, as far as the resorts go, um, oh, 
you know, no special permits. They're all off the road, and um, they're closed to the general public. Although, for Nude Recreation Week, a lot of our clubs are having open houses so that the uh, clothed community can come in and see that it's not all sex and violence right, or whatever. Right, it's yeah. just normal people doing normal, everyday things. Okay. All right, this is this is very fascinating. I, I think we should talk more. This well, is good. This, this is good. I like this. <laughs> good. Well, you make sure you stay on and give me your address, and I'll send you a magazine, and right. we'll, we'll see if we can't get you to come over here and visit us. I, I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shy, but I'll, I'll give it my best. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, Mickey, right? Yep. Okay, thank you very much, Mickey. Thank you. You'll think about it. Yeah, I even I even hate to uh, wear flip-flops to show my feet. You know, oh. so come on. <laughs> better stay away then. that's right that's what i figured you know. i don't think it's for you no no well maybe the 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 view view of it it might be might be for me but not the not to yeah. take part in it maybe. no that doesn't sound like my bag either <laughs> okay here we go good morning good morning how are you today oh it's early <laughs> okay it's early you're awake yeah i have coffee that's good. That's a good sign. That's, that's a, good, a good, good sign. Yes, that's a couple a good of days ago we ran out of coffee. We had that decaf stuff, and that just does not work. Nope. Does nope. not work. Nope. You get used to it, and you need it. That's and right. If you don't have it, it gets ugly. You need that caffeine. We're talking to Joni Dorsetti over at the Cherry County Playhouse, of course. And uh, I, well, the West Side Story is going to be underway real soon, right? Yes, it's underway. Oh, it's underway. That's right. Yes, yes. Thursday. We have done okay. It opened Thursday with a matinee. We also had an evening show Thursday and Friday and tonight.